Hello, this is Byrne, and if you've ever been in the painful limbo state of wanting to be with a man who's not giving you clear signals that he wants to secure exclusivity and commit, I'm going to show you how you can have a classy conversation from a position of confidence and high self-worth that will get him to reveal the truth of what he really wants without any pushing, without any arm twisting, without any neediness from you. Hello, this is Byrne. Welcome to another edition of BurnMendez.com. If you'd like to learn how to attract your ideal life partner without the need for gimmicks, manipulation, games, or stupid techniques, make sure to hit the subscribe button right now to be notified of new episodes as they come out. There's a Chinese proverb that says, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago, the next best time is today. And the reason why I'm sharing this right now with you is because I want to offer you through this video, if you're on the early stages of dating someone, or before you even start dating guys, how to set this up in such a way that you are the one pursued, that you're the one who's being asked to be exclusive, that the guy is willingly, proactively, enthusiastically even, doing what he can to get closer to you and to make sure that you're his girlfriend, uh, wife, uh, fiance, whatever the progress of that relationship is. And for that, I'm gonna show you how to set this up. Now, if you are in a situation where, for whatever reason, you didn't set it up this way, maybe because you didn't know any better, maybe because you were a little scared at the beginning of the relationship, maybe because your self-worth wasn't where it needed to be, or for any other reason, that you still have a chance to course correct, that you have a chance to make move things different, retake back your power in a healthy way and ask for what you want, and if you're not getting it, have the courage and have the dignity to move on, not be breadcrumbed by someone who's just enjoying your company, enjoying your energy, but has zero intention or capacity to take you to the promised land. Now, I'm assuming for the creation of this video that if you're watching my video right now, you're one of those women, which I think is the majority of women today in this world, who prefer to be pursued by a man than to pursue a man, who prefer to be asked out on a date than to have to ask the guy out on a date. There's an element of alchemy, there's an element of pursuit that is far more exciting for women to be on the receiving end and for many men to be on the giving end. So if that's not you, this video probably will seem boring or not, <laughs> not workable. But if you are uh, of the feeling that I'm sharing right now, this video will really come in handy. I'm going to share right now, first and foremost, what are the conditions you can set at the beginning that will make this conversation the easiest or even not even have to have the conversation because he's asking you for that conversation. But, and then the second part of this video will be, well, if you didn't set it up this way, how can you still get what you want? How can you still have the conversation from a place of worth and dignity? The first condition that needs to be put in place is, and this is so important and so fundamental, on, and it's something I mention on every single one of my videos because I'm not sure how many videos somebody will watch, but if you only watch this one, I wanna make sure you get this. You need to own your light. And the reason why you need to own your light is because you, 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 you want right now, as a result of being a conscious human being, a conscious woman, something that's far beyond what your mom perhaps had, what your grandma had for sure, what your great grandma had, because you want something that's more transcendent, that's more connected, that has elements of spirituality, elements of emotional connection, psychological connection, physical connection, you want the whole thing. You want to have the most chances of getting it. And if you have that willingness, and if you have that level of sophistication in terms of needs and wants, then you want to increase your chances. If you own your light, which is step number one, you will be far more likely to have more choices in men. The emotional energy that you bring into the world, your level of radiance, your level of light, will greatly determine the number of choices in men that you have. And the reason why I'm starting with this one is because you can have the biggest list of here's the things that I want in a guy, here's the things that I deserve, here's the things that are important for me to have. If you're not bringing the light, those guys who have those qualities are not going to look into you the same way they're going to look into somebody who actually is bringing it. So own your light means do whatever you need to do. Watch, I mean, I have hundreds of videos on the topic. Watch any of my other videos and I'll show you how you can step into this light. Number two is you need to know and understand after owning your light, what you want specifically. Uh, for example, I connect with women and when I ask them what they want, they give me a version of what they think they can get that's unexciting and that's not cool for them, but it's better than nothing. And the level of energy, the level of hunger, the level of passion that they will apply to creating that mediocre reality is very small. 
versus having a high hope for something. If you want marriage, the fine that you want marriage. If you want children, the fine that you want children. Because you're going to connect with different types of men, and if you're not clear on what you want, you're going to go for whatever happens. And whatever happens, even if you have in the back of your mind, here's what I really want, but I'm not mentioning it right now in case he gets scared, then when the moment comes where you actually divulge and, and express what you want, he's going to be, what? I mean, I never knew about this, and no, I can't give it to you. And that's time wasting, not just time wasting, but next time you start over, you start with a little bit less excitement, with a little bit less self-worth, with a little bit uh, less hope, and we want to avoid that. So if you start by knowing what do you want specifically, the next step, which is step number three, is have the courage to only date men who are clear that they want what you want. Here's why. Because if you're looking to be in an exclusive relationship with someone versus something that's just loosey-goosey, if you want to be in a monogamous relationship versus polyamorous or who knows, some other type of relationship, if you want marriage eventually, if you want a family eventually, then there's guys who want that. And there's guys who are dating to figure out who is a match for that type of reality. There's guys who are confused about what they want and there's guys who don't want that. So if you only date men who actually want what you want, and that means you have to be willing to ask the uncomfortable questions at the beginning. If you don't, you're going to go from some fantasy that may never realize. So when you only date men who want what you want, the likelihood that the guy is going to be the one who's moving things forward and the, the reality of the guy wanting to pursue you in a strong way without you having to twist his arm or remind him of how great you are or kind of give him ultimatums all the time is greater. Right? You want a guy who wants to have that level of masculinity and pursuit and clarity to move things forward. And if he's not there, regardless of how awesome you think this man is on paper, regardless of how much you feel chemistry with him, do yourself and other women in the world a favor and do not connect with this guy because you're training this dude that without having clarity, he can get the good. Before I go on to my next two steps and beyond, before I share with you what the conversation looks like, I want to make an invitation to you right now. If you're watching my video right now and you're single, there's a very high likelihood that you don't fully understand the root cause of why you're single. And what I've done is I've taken many years of working with women, helping them find love and marriages and beyond, to, into a very simple quiz that you can take in 60 seconds and can let you know at the end of that quiz the number one reason why you're still single. All you have to do if you want to participate is go to the first link in the description of this video. Uh, you will see a page that looks like this. Answer a few very simple questions and in 60 seconds you'll have the answer as to why you're still single and better yet. Based on your specific challenge, what is the number one action you can take that can reverse this trend for you and get you into the relationship you want? Step number four is really important, which is date unexclusively and be transparent about the unexclusivity that you're stepping into. Here's why. Because when a man knows that you're a woman of value, when a man knows that you're someone who brings it, you have the light, you have the intelligence, you have the energy that he's seeking, you have the openness, you have the qualities, you're getting to know each other, you're compatible in multiple different ways, but he hasn't fully earned the exclusivity piece, he's going to work much harder to earn it than if he feels that for virtue of dating you, you're only dating him. I know this is hard for some women. I know that some women feel guilty. Some women feel like that they're, doing, they're, they're cheating on a guy by dating more than one person. So here's my simple framework for how you can do this without it being so hard. Number one, don't have sex with any guy you're dating until you're exclusive with him. Number two, be physically less connected to the guys you're dating than if you were only dating one guy. And number three, be transparent. Tell the guy very early on that one of the things that makes you feel excited when you're dating is that the person understands, the person you're dating, that you're not exclusive with anyone until you both have spent some time getting to know each other and understood that they are, you're compatible. This will give you two possibilities. The guy will say, I can't do that if you're not my girlfriend, de facto girlfriend from day one without having girlfriend rights, uh, I can't date you. Or he's going to say, you know what, I'm not super excited about it, but I, I, let's do this. When he does that, he knows that in order for him to come out and be the 
winning human being who gets to the privilege of being with you, he has to work hard, he has to play his cards right, and he has to continue moving the ball forward and wanting to get exclusivity versus taking it for granted. Number five is so important, and I'll talk more about this and how to do this when, uh, when I talk about the conversation, is you need to be willing to cut ties and move on if he is confused, if he doesn't know what he wants. Why? Because when you understand what it is that you want, when you understand that you, as, you have a, a smaller time limit, especially if you don't have a family yet, to create a family than a guy does, then you have no time to waste with someone who's kind of in the verge of finding himself when you've found yourself. You need to find someone who's found himself who clearly wants the same thing you want or something similar. Now, let's talk about the conversation. And here's the, the beauty about this process that I'm sharing with you right now. If you're playing your cards right, doing the things that I'm sharing with you right now, the conversation is going to be something so simple for you because the guy is going to ask you to be exclusive, most likely. When he, you, you bring all of this to the table, there's this, this compatibility, he knows you're not exclusive, he knows you're dating other men, but he really feels closer and closer to you by virtue of being uh, vulnerable with each other, by creating a friendship with you, and he wants to secure that, he's going to probably earlier than you're ready say, let's be exclusive, which is a great problem for you to have because then you can say, you know what, thank you so much. If things continue being this way, the answer might be, very, will most likely be yes, I still need a little more time. I still need a month. I still need a more time to, to continue getting to know you, but so far, this is going great. That's a great positioning for you to be in versus being the one who's saying, dude, you're not moving the ball forward. What's happening? Do you really want me? That's not necessarily the best place to be in, but if you have to go there, you have to go there, which is the conversation. There's two principles that I need you to own that are as important as how you frame the conversation. The first principle is your why is bigger than him. Why you want a relationship why you choose to be in the spiritual path of a relationship, which is very, very different from the spiritual path of solitude. Not saying one is better than the other one. For me specifically, the one of relationship is exponentially better than the one of solitude. And also it allows me to be a much, much, much better version of myself than I would need to be if I were selfishly just connecting with myself. But that's just me. If you're someone who agrees with this, then understand that if the guy is not the type of guy who wants to secure commitment with you, who doesn't see enough value in you to be exclusive, who doesn't yet know that that's the thing for him, that your purpose, what you want, as much as this guy could be really great and you connect with him and there's chemistry, you want something that's bigger than just you and him, which is the relationship. So just go for that. Number two, no relationship, no man. Uh, if he's a lawyer and an activist and he's six foot five and the strongest man on earth and also happens to be the most sensitive, caring guy who can sing and the flowers blossom at the same time, punch a, a bear and, 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 and if he needs to save you from a bear, he can actually, with his bear hands, destroy him. This is that type of uh, <laughs> versatile man that's strong and sensitive at the same time. He has all the qualities. If he has all the qualities but he has, doesn't want exclusivity with you, it's not really worth your time and energy. So you need to know that no man is worth your dignity and your self-worth. The conversation is pretty simple. You, you say something along the lines of, here's the kind of thing that I'm going for in life. You have to be, have the courage to, to say what you're looking for. And you basically say, what are your thoughts and feelings about me regarding this vision? Or what are your thoughts and feelings about me regarding exclusivity? You're not saying, do you want to be exclusive with me? You're saying, what are your thoughts and feelings about me regarding exclusivity? And then stay quiet allow him to simmer, allow him to express his thoughts. There's going to be really three different positions he can be on. I mean, you, small variations, but this is really it. Number one is, you know what? My thoughts are, let's freaking do this. I'm ready, let's go for it. Uh, I, I, I didn't want to push, I didn't want to make, make you uncomfortable, but if you feel ready for this, I'm ready for this, and you win. That's like the best answer he can give you if you really want to be in a relationship with him. The second one is going to be something along the lines of, I really like you and I really want to be exclusive with you some t at some point. I'm not ready right now and I need this to be ready. Now, this to be ready is where you need to be very, very smart and very, very specific because if what he needs to be ready is I need more money, well, that could mean a 10-year plan to become a billionaire or that could mean my next paycheck so that I feel more secure in my savings. You don't know what that means but you have to be willing to ask. So tell me a little bit more about specifically what does that mean for you? 
And if he has the ability to tell you what he needs for that exclusivity, then all you have to do is think for yourself, does that make sense for me? Is that something that's a reasonable time frame for me? Is that something that's a risk that will, I'm willing to take that risk or it's too much of a risk or he doesn't really know. The thing he's giving me is so ambiguous and so vague that it could be everything and nothing at the same time, in which case you're not gonna be exclusive with him, right? You're gonna take some, some time apart. The third answer he could give you is something that is either a no, I don't see you as someone I can be exclusive with, or he's gonna run around in circles. He's gonna tell, talk about himself, how he's confused, how there's not the right time in his life, he has so much pressure, basically everything, not to basically say, I don't want what you want, but I don't wanna lose you. So here's what you need to do at the first thing we've decided, right? I mean, if he says, let's do this, and you're ready to be exclusive, then go for it. If he, the answer he gives you is, I need this to be in an exclusive relationship, and that's something ambiguous, and he's not willing to go deeper, or if he's basically running around in circles and, and I'm not really telling you that he can't be exclusive, but in so many words, he's basically saying, yeah, I'm confused, then you need to say, you know what? I really respect you, and I really love connecting with you and because I respect you and I love connecting with you and I respect myself and I love myself and I know what I want it seems like the best thing right now would be for you to have some time for yourself so you could make those decisions without my, my outside influence and without me maybe not allowing you to have the clarity and the depth that you need so you might have to take a break from the relationship which means no contact which means having him have the space to figure out what the hell he wants right? And two things will happen. He'll either think about, you know what, life is better without you, in which case you win. You connect with somebody who actually feels like life is better with you, or he gets a kick in the ass slash coglioni that he needs to wake the F up and say, you know what, I've thought about this and I really want to go the distance with you and I don't want to lose you and let's do this. So the conversation is simple when you have the right emotional and psychological elements in place, make sure that you don't let anyone take you up for a spin if he's not willing to get go the distance with you, okay? I uh, hope this is helpful and useful. If you want to understand why you're still single, uh, the root cause of it, go to the first link in the description. If you like this video, click like or thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and uh, share this with a friend who needs to hear this. Last but not least, if you're still watching me right now, and you understand that watching the video is a great first step, but you need a lot more than the first step to get where you want to go. Working with me might help you attract the man you want and enter that relationship in a very small fraction of the time. If that if you think that might be you, go to the second link in the description of this video and apply to work with me. Thank you so much for allowing me into your home, into your heart, into your mobile phone, wherever you're watching me right now. And as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.